Whew. It is cold out there. Hi, wow. Dave. It looks really good in here, Debbie. Looks nice, right? Yeah. All right. Well, welcome to Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, our holiday special. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. This show is all about the holiday season, how it affects your home, your family, mm -hmm. and how it affects you. And we've got some great ideas for gifts. We'll be focusing on electronics today, plus we'll get in the kitchen, we'll look at entertaining and holiday lifestyle. It's the most wonderful time of year, but it can be a little bit hectic. So what we hope to have for you today can help make your life easier, more enjoyable, and better for the holidays. Exactly, so stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces, our holiday special. All right, now it's time to get to the food. Okay, you will like this one. I had a chance to hook up with some folks who really know how to make old fashioned style pies and cakes, the kind like grandma used to make. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, they were delicious. Watch. Remember those wonderful pies grandma used to make? Fruits and berries piping hot, filling the room with their aroma. A memory of warm deliciousness on a chilly afternoon. And when the holidays were in full swing, there was the rich flavor of black forest tort with sweet bean cherries. Well, it doesn't have to be a memory anymore. We're here in the kitchen with some great fruit and berry recipes prepared by the guiding talents of Erin Johansson with us from the Oregon Fruit Products. Erin, welcome to Kitchen Spaces. Hi, Debbie. Now, tell us what exactly you have here that you're going to prepare and where our viewers can get the recipes. Okay, we're going to be making a traditional Oregon blueberry pie mm -hmm. and a black forest tort using uh, sweet bean cherries, and the recipes are on our website, OregonFruit.com. Okay, what is so special about the Oregon Fruit products? Well, Oregon Fruit has been packing uh, fresh berries and cherries in the can for over 75 years. Oh, wow. Sourced from the same local farms in the Willamette Valley in Oregon. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's all USDA quality, first quality fruit, um, packed fresh and ripe. Okay, sounds good. Let's go ahead and get started with our first recipe. Now, how do we do this? Okay, it's really easy. Easier okay. than you think. Good. You take <laughs> a can of uh, blueberries, actually two cans to make a pie. You thicken the syrup from the can with a little cornstarch and sugar. Mm -hmm. Add the blueberries back in. You have your filling. You can make a homemade pie crust if you're uh, so inclined, or you can just go to the grocery store and buy one That'd already be made. made. <laughs> and that's what we did here. Okay. So you just put your prepared filling mm. into the into the pie crust okay. and what's really nice about making your own filling is you can control the sweetness and the thickeners right. and you can have a, a lot more fruit in your pie. Yes. You take the top. You know exactly what's in it. Yes and speaking of that, mm -hmm. why don't you pick up one of those cans and tell okay. me what the ingredients on the can are. You want me to read the whole list? Yes please. The uh, whole list. Cherries, water and sugar, that's all that's in here. That's all. That no is No additives, wonderful. no colors, nothing. I like and it. And then you just flute and fluting's really easy, you just pinch. Okay. See? And Sounds then you good. bake it in the oven and um, until it's bubbling and it'll be delicious and homemade. Sounds good. Okay, and now we have our, ooh, our cake over here. This looks so yeah, good. Yeah, it's fabulous cake. Again, really simple. You just take a box cake, make two layers, thicken your cherries the exact same way that you did the, uh, the uh, pie. And um, what you would do to us, it's basically assembly at that point. You just put your, your layer down, put some cherries on, put the second layer, more cherries, Mm. Top it with lots of whipped cream and, and the shaved chocolate. Ooh, and you have an delicious. elegant dessert for your Christmas dinner Thanksgiving. or Thanksgiving right. and um, even even New Year's Eve. And who doesn't like chocolate and cherries? I mean, come Fabulous on. Fabulous combination. But I noticed you have other recipes out here. What are yes. these? You can make a wonderful sangria using mm. the juice from the cans and um, adding some other ingredients, some brandy and some wine and some fresh fruit. And it looks just beautiful and very festive. We have a blackberry daiquiri over here that uses canned blackberries, okay. delicious. A little rum, a little orange juice, blend it up with some ice, fabulous. And then the other thing that I really want your viewers to know is that berries and cherries are really good for you. Loaded with antioxidants, you want to eat five to nine servings of fruits and vegetables yes. a Sometimes day. Sometimes that's hard, yes, so it's this hard. is an easy way and to do it. And this is a good way to do it. And for your breakfast, you take a can of red tart cherries, which are packed in water, no sugar. At, put them in your blender with some soy milk, 
whip them up with some ice. Two ingredients. That's You've easy. got breakfast protein and antioxidants. Healthy and tasty at the same Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Very good. Oh, these recipes are really good, and we can find them on the website. Yes, OregonFruit.com, and when you go there, you can also look into our grandparent grandkid baking contest. And if we want to purchase the Oregon fruit products, we They're can go where? Available in, in your local grocery store all across the country. Wonderful. Erin, thank you so much for being here today, bringing us such great ideas and recipes for the holiday season. Appreciate it. Thanks, Debbie. Thank you. Okay, now the best part. Let's eat. Yes. Mm -hmm. this. Wow, this. now I see what you mean. Those look delicious. Oh, they were. Did you say me any? No, but the crew, they... The oh, crew? Yeah. Hello, mm -hmm. guys, you bring any back? No? Oh, oh. Good holiday spirit, guys. <laughs> Sorry. That's it. I'm done. All right. I'm done, too. You are? Yes, we're out of time. Oh. So we should say goodbye and happy holidays to all of you. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. Thank you so much for watching. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.